morning everyone today we are doing already we're doing a in-depth like little collection review on some new Colourpop collections that have come out recently I was going to initially just do a in-depth review on one collection that they bought out which was going to be this looking sharp one if you saw my PR unboxing but then I got another package in the mail which was sunny side up and this one really caught my attention I love yellow I love sunflowers and I just loved like the vibe of it so what I did was I did a little poll on Instagram but it's basically 50 50 technically this one won by a small amount so I feel like we'll do a lot of this stuff but I figured since so many of you guys wanted to see the other collection as well then I might as well add in some bits and pieces from the other collection so this is just gonna be a whole lot of new Colourpop stuff I'm going to tell you what's good what's not and yeah that's basically it so let's just get started so to start off with there is a facial oil by fourth ray beauty which is part of like Colourpop I believe I don't think I've actually in Ended up trying any of the facial oils by this brand but I'm keen to so this is the glow up facial oil it's got maracuja oil which is really good it's got a lot of vitamin C and jojoba oil which is another favorite oil of mine you guys know that I've been using it for literally years and years and then we've also got vitamin C in here so it's got some great ingredients I don't know whose idea it was to put white writing on this box literally I can't even like read it so I'm not quite sure like I think it says safe for all skin types vegan so I'm just gonna take a couple of drops of this just on my base so that it can soak in while I do my eye makeup so just like a couple of drops like I think that's three drops there so technically that's not a couple but you get the gist and I'm just going to press that into my skin I've got a little bit of dry skin just here so making sure I'm really targeting those areas I mean it feels great it just feels like any other like high-end facial oil that I have and it looks pretty it's got some great ingredients I really want to know what like the full ingredient list is like does it have other ingredients as well like fillers or is that just it because if that's just it like cool it does say infused so that makes me think that there's like other types of ingredients in it I don't know I have to look on the website but first you know application it feels really nice so I'll let that settle in and I've also got another oil from this collection this is the sunflower collection by the way so this is the lemon drop mini shimmering dry oil add this shimmering yellow body oil to complete the sun kiss look so you just chuck it on your body so I'm just going to shake it up and then I'm just going to apply some of this over my chest and neck and shoulders so it's super super runny oh smells so good oh my gosh it smells like oh what does that smell it smells like some kind of like tanning lotion you know those like lotions that you put on to like tan in the sun <laughs> like it kind of smells like that vibe like it smells like summer to me really sweet and like fruity it's called lemon drop i wonder if it's got any lemon in it or not no so this doesn't really give you color as you can see it's just like a glow which is really pretty just helps to make your skin look nice and healthy and glowy i've got zero fake tan on right now so this yeah it just matches my skin tone it doesn't highlight it just yeah healthy glow would i use it again yes i would it feels nice oh i got on my clothes though so props don't do that can you see like the glow it's pretty feels um like oily it feels a little bit gritty with like the sparkles but not like uncomfortably like I can just low-key feel it when I go like this I have to see if it like kind of like sinks in by the end of the video so from this collection people wanted to see the cream eyeshadows so I'm going to try out some of those today first of all I'm just going to conceal around my eyebrows and quickly just prime my eyelids and do all that kind of thing and then we'll pop back and try out heaps of these new eyeshadows okay so I've chosen this color here for the cream eyeshadow I'm gonna use today it's called laurel this is like a just above beige kind of tone like it's just a smidgen darker than like the base I have on which is the P. Louise shade 01 they also have the shade Bronco which is a more yellow kind of tone which is actually really nice maybe I should use Bronco camouflage which is a mid-tone kind of peachy brown and moonbeam which is the darker brown so there's kind of like a whole lot of different shades of nudes or brown tones depending on your skin tone I actually think I am gonna go in with the yellower base nude which is called Bronco just looks really brightening I don't know all I'm gonna be doing is chucking on eyeshadow on top so it's kind of interesting we'll see if it works well as like a base I guess so I'm going in with the round eye brush okay when I massage my brush into it, it looks like it picks up a good amount of product it doesn't look like too cakey or anything like that and now I'm just going to paint this on and yeah it's applying pretty well I did see someone saying that they were real dry 
but so far so good. The amount I put on my brush was definitely enough for both eyes. I'm just gonna wipe off my brush because I've got like crap loads of product on there. And then I can smooth this out. Yeah, it's so similar to the actual eye base, you guys. I'll swatch them on my hand for you real quick just so you can see the colors better since you can't really see it on my eye. I just wanna see if it's like good underneath eyeshadow, you know? So this one here is called Bronco and that's how it swatches. It feels really silky smooth. And then we have Laurel, which you can see is a little bit more like pinky beige. It feels good to be doing a old school like just review video. I feel like I never do dedicated collection videos and I always mean to. Next up we have Moonbeam, which is the darker brown. Real pretty. That would just look so nice all over the lid, smoked into the crease, just for a super easy eye look. And then we have Camouflage, which is just obviously a little bit lighter. Now I would use a darker one today, but of course I want to try out heaps of eyeshadows and other products, so I don't want to go too crazy with my cream eyeshadows straight off the bat, but they do feel nice. I can kind of feel it sitting on my lid. Maybe this is where it starts to get dry. Let's just see how it feels in like a few moments. I think I'm going to mostly use this palette right here today. This is Lil Ray of Sunshine, and it is is a complete matte palette with the most stunning shades of like mustardy kind of tones. There's a couple of warmer ones as well and there's like a nice range of deeper to lighter tones like mid-tones deeper and lighter. The other palette we have is the Wild Nothings which I think I'm going to pop in a giveaway because I love the colors but I've definitely got every single one of these in other palettes already. Like it's nothing new, it's just a very nude peachy kind of vibe palette so if you don't have something like this I'm sure it's great but I already have stuff like this. The packaging is adorable as well. It's actually like embossed, so it sticks up, which I love. And it's got like embossing up the very top with this like kind of little sunshine detailing, the cactus. It's really pretty. So one of you guys will be getting that. In fact, subscribe, click the bell notification on and leave me a comment and I'll pick one of you guys to win a package. Leave your Instagram or Twitter handle as well so I can contact you. This palette, I've got to show you the packaging. It's got some UV printing on it so it's shiny. It's got the embossing text and sunflowers all over it. Once again, I'm a huge fan of sunflowers. On my eyelids, it definitely is starting to look a little bit dry. Look at that. I see now. At first they're so silky, but they do start feeling dry. Like as I blink, I can feel it. So we'll see how the eyeshadows go on top, but I need to remember that it could just be the cream eyeshadow if they start like failing. Cause typically I really love ColourPop eyeshadows for the price, they're so freaking good. I'm going to start with the shade Limoncello. Limoncello always reminds me of when I went to Sorrento. Oh my God, my eyes are looking like low-key infected wearing these earrings. Ugh. And the waiters always gave us Limoncello with our Bill and Hamish <laughs> hates Limoncello now. He's like, I'm traumatized because it was just constant, like every day Limoncello. He's not a big fan of like lemon flavored things. So <laughs> it was not his vibe. And at one point me and my mum, you know, got the Bill and Hamish was in the bathroom and the waiter came with three shots of Limoncello and they were huge. They were those like huge tall shot glasses and they were full like maybe two thirds. So me and my mum tipped out like a little bit of both of ours into Hamish's glass to like fill his shot glass. So he had like a full double shot and then we like did ours. So we had like a half shot and Hamish came back from the bathroom. He's like, oh no, I don't want to do it. And we're like, we did ours already. So you've got to do yours. And he did the double shot and he hated it. And it was just funny, you know, I enjoyed it. So despite my eyeshadow base being quite dry right now, the eyeshadow you can see is so pigmented. I'm using a firm blender brush and just sweeping that all the way across the eye, like the crease of my eye, and it's so pigmented. Yeah, it definitely looks dry, like the base. So I agree with whoever left that comment. At first they apply beautifully, but they do dry like quite cakey and interesting. So I probably wouldn't use those again. I'd just stick with the eyeshadows. And I'm gonna take a nice, huge, fluffy blender brush. And I'm just like literally winging this right now, as always. I'm gonna take Blissed Out, which is the color right above. And I'm going to start blending that like on top of that other color and kind of above just to blow it out. Oh my God, I'm wearing the perfect color top with this look today, I think. That wasn't even planned. This color is just a really nice kind of like neutral kind of brown. Just a nice crease color. Gosh, my eyelid texture is interesting with that cream eyeshadow on it literally looks like wrinkly and old. Once again, you guys love my little comparison when my eye looks like a ball sack, okay? It looks like a ball sack. And it's funny, I've never really examined balls. It's just like in my mind what I would think a ball sack would look like if you really looked up close. Wrinkly and like 
stretchy. Now what I think I want to do is maybe like a little halo eye because I've got some really nice um, you know limited edition eyeshadows that are really beautiful and light and sparkly. So I'm going to grab myself a pencil brush and I'm going to take I think this color first which is called Chillin. It's this beautiful deep reddish kind of neutral yeah, reddish brown. I don't know if that's really considered neutral, but you know what I'm trying to say here. Inner and outer corner. This color is bomb. I love it. That's stunning. And if you have green eyes, like you need that right now. Like this whole palette would be beautiful on green eyes. Anyone, once again, but green oh, would bounce off these colors. Like are you joking? That color is insane. And then I'm going to take my brush, which I just noticed is completely dented. What have I done to this poor brush? How did that even happen? I don't know. But I'm going to add some more of that um, limoncello color just through the crease. Just because I kind of over blended it and just kind of blend that red in to the crease. I was going to use the darkest brown, but I don't think I will because I just love that shade. I don't want to like cover it up at all. And I am going to like sharpen up all of this later, but let's just blend it out just for fun. These are so easy to blend, you guys. Like, real nice quality. And that's on top of, like, a dry as base. So imagine it if I didn't put on that cream eyeshadow and just use, like, the P. Louise. It would have been even nicer. I'm gonna, like, wipe most of that product off my brush, off the pencil brush. And then just take the yellow. It's called Sunrise, I think. No, Sunnies. I can't read. <laughs> I'm gonna pop that in the next area. Like, in from the red color. And then I'm going to use this gold eyeshadow. This is called In Harmony. Super Shock Shadow Ultra Metallic. So this is part of the Sunflower Collection as well. And then we're going to use one of the eyeshadows from the other collection next. So these eyeshadows are good with your finger, but I don't want to like cover up everything I've done. So I'm just using my pencil brush and blending that just in the middle of my eye like you can see. That's such a pretty color. I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand fear. So this is how it looks on my finger and then that's how it looks. It's like a really beautiful deep kind of gold. I'm just gonna go back into Limoncello one more time and just intensify right through the middle of my crease. I just feel like it's gotten a bit lost. Okay, I'm cracking. I'm applying <laughs> some of my finger, hoping I don't mess this up, but just kind of tapping it right on the middle. I have this other eyeshadow from the Sunflower Collection. This one is called a Flower Child, and it looks so pretty. It's like a champagne kind of color with like yellowish undertones. I don't know if you can see that right, but I am going to apply that on my brow bone. I'm literally just trying to use as many products as I can right now, like to try and like show you how they look like on. Just tapping that on. Once again, these are so much better with your finger, but I don't want to use my finger and like get it everywhere. So I'm just building it up with a brush. It's such a pretty color. All right, and then the color I'm so excited for. So this is part of the Wild Nothing collection and it's a um, Jelly Much eyeshadow. So this one is in Mo... How do you pronounce that word? Is it Mojave Moves? M-O-J-A-V-E? Like, I don't really know. I'm sorry. But yeah, it's a beautiful shimmery champagne. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks crazy. Now I have tried Jelly Munch eyeshadows before and like loved them. So I'm excited for this. I'm just wiping off my pencil brush again and then I'm going to take some of this Jelly Munch eyeshadow and apply it right on the very center. Oh my god, it's so intense. I was not counting on that. I'm going to tap it out. Maybe I have to use my finger a little. So I'm just tap tap tapping until it's kind of more sheer. I'll swatch it on my hand for you. So looks like that these have the nicest texture like they feel really cooling and fun on the eye and then the other one we have is called mystical and this one's like a rose kind of goldy kind of vibe rose goldy but maybe a little bit dark like i don't know like a coppery rose gold looks like that oh my god this would just look so beautiful all over the eyelid like just smack bang boom quick and easy no effort and it would just look so nice. They almost look like wet, you know? I would definitely be keeping this shade in particular. The other one I might give to a friend, but this one I just really wanna try it just like smacked on, just easy. Okay, I'm gonna keep out this one though, the first one we used, so I might end up putting it on my inner corner a little bit later. I feel like my skin feels very moisturized. It doesn't feel like overly oily. I feel like some of the oil did soak in. It's a little bit, but 
not too bad. All right, and there's a couple of new cream gel liners. I recommend these. I love these. Don't forget, you can use my discount code on ColourPop as well if you're looking to pick up anything at Shantin. I love these. If you're going to get any as well, get Honey Dude, which is the nude. It's like my favorite. Um, so I'm going to use Sunnyvale on my top lash line and just kind of smoke it. So it's just like a super dark brown. I'll swatch it for you. Look how creamy and beautiful that just went on. Like, it's so nice. Look at that. I'm bringing this all the way across. Actually, no, I'm going to stop like right on that, like in a part, like just over halfway. So we do two thirds. And then I'm just going to use the pencil brush again and just kind of like push it down into my lashes just to make my lashes look nice and thick. This is so insanely creamy. Just like that, just to define my lash line a little bit. Can you see the difference? Like it just makes all the difference. Keeping it very thin because I don't want to like cover up all of the hard work I did on my eyeshadow. And just before I go in, like I'm wiping my brush each time just so I don't transfer the product too much and make it too heavy. I just want to like spread out what's there. I don't want to deposit more color. Oh god, they look so pretty. Huge fan of that color. That's so nice. It's just the perfect dark brown. And then we'll try out this mustard one on my waterline, but I just want to do my base first. So I'm going to go do that off camera and I'll be right back and we'll keep trying out stuff. There's still like blushes and lip products to go. All right, so I've done my foundation. I used my Hourglass Concealer and I used my Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation by Maybelline and this I really like because it's nice and full coverage it's affordable and everything and it looks nice once it's on but like it can be a little bit dry to apply sometimes in my experience so actually on top of the facial oil we applied earlier it went on really nicely so that's good and then I set with my bite pressed powder so under my eyes I'm gonna go back in with the shade chillin and I'm going to apply that on the very outer an inner corner like this, like right underneath. And then I'm gonna take the bright yellow Sunnies and mix that underneath. And then just using my blender brush that I've been using, I'm going to make sure it's blended all the way across. And then going back in with my Jelly Match eyeshadow, I'm gonna take a little bit on a Q-tip. I'm gonna plonk that right on the inner corners. I'm using a clean pencil brush just to tap it out so that it's nice and blended. So I think those eyes are absolutely beautiful. Now let's pop on some falsies and some mascara. I'm gonna do it off camera quickly. So I'll just show you what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the chic lashes which look like this. And I think I'm just gonna use some roller lash with that. So here is my before and after. They're still drying, but look how pretty and flirty they look like lash extenders. I'm obsessed. We need to use the cream gel eyeliner in Sub Zero, which is like a mustard gold. I'm just gonna run that through the waterline. Ooh, that's real pigmented. Can you see that? Oh, I got it in my eye. That's really nice. All right, so the eye makeup is done. What do you guys think? I'm obsessed. I think it's so nice. So I should just fill in my eyebrows real quick. Let me do those. So all I did for those was ran through some of the P. Louise brow gel. And I'm just going to take this MAC liquid, what is this even called? Shape and Shade Brow Tint. And just go through the gaps. It just fills in the gaps without them looking like blocky. Love this so much. Alright, so for cheeks I have these three pressed powder cheeks. I don't know how I feel about the packaging. It feels kind of like cheap. This is from the Wild Nothing collection. So we have Crossroads, which is this oh, that's probably it. Just looking at that straight away. It's like a terracotta bronzy peach with shimmer. We have On The Horizon, which is more of a like peach pink situation, a little bit brighter. Oh, this one's so nice too. This is Wayfarer, Wayfarer, peach, like pure pastel kind of beige peach. Okay, I need to contour and bronze first. I'm gonna contour with my MAC palette and a bronzer brush. And then I'm just going around my face with Sandra Pay by Nabla, which is one of my favorite bronzes. Just on the same brush, a little bronzer brush. I'm going to use two blushes. I'm gonna start with Crossroads. I wish they were like a smaller packaging. Like it's a huge pan, but it looks quite shallow. So I feel like it would have been better in a smaller container. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to use my shimmer tulip brush and it looks very pigmented and with this color I'm going to go at the back of my cheek. It's stunning. It's like quite pinky when you actually apply it to your face. It almost looks like 
a natural kind of like sunburn color but in a good way like you know when you've been out in the sun for ages and it just like makes your cheeks flush like that's the vibe I get it's very summery I apply a tiny bit of that just on my nose as well I'm even gonna bring it just up on my temple because why the heck not I don't know and then I'm gonna take the other one by the way these come with huge mirrors which is really cool I need to peel off the sticker let's do it Oh yeah. Okay, so this peachier color, I'm going to take, by the way, Wayfarer, Wayfarer, I don't know how to say it. Like the sunglasses. <laughs> and this is going to go kind of like on the cheekbone. Oh my god, I love this color. <gasps> yes, this is good. I'm going to put a little bit on my nose as well. And just brush it like the leftovers through here. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. Oh my god, I love it. I feel like you can't even see like the true color. See, it's so pretty. Now I'm going to take Lucent by Exo Beauty on a detail face brush, which is the best brush to apply this with if you want like a really blinding highlight. I just want something that's like Victoria's Secret glowing from within. So that's why I'm using this product today because it just looks like an inner glow. Look at that. It's so pretty. On the other side, I like to put it like on the chin, on the Cupid's bow nose just everywhere i want to like look dewy you can like put it all over too all right and then before we do the um what's it called lips i'm gonna use some pretty for setting spray which is magic i love this oh my goodness i love my makeup today oh my eyebrow looks a little bit funny i need to fix up the edge i'm just gonna go back in with my shade and brow tint and there's this little powder side and i'm just gonna Add a little bit of powder and then back with the pen I'm just going to lengthen the tail I feel like I accidentally concealed half of my freaking eyebrow today see how they just extended it a lot this product's so good okay much better okay, I need a lip pencil I'm gonna use Tootsie by Colourpop this looks like brand new <laughs> I don't think I've ever used this before I'm just outlining my lips I got an email last night from someone saying that no offense but I need to stop overlining my lips um, and they were very upset about it but I like doing it okay I haven't done it for years and years and I'm honestly just not about to stop just because someone doesn't like it like if I like it that's all that matters and I found it weird how someone actually took the time to email me telling me not to do it but hey you do you. Should I read it to you just for fun? Hi lovely, I want to give criticism and that's to do with the overdrawn lips. It's really only your top lip. It looks overdrawn and fake. You don't have any shape to it and it just looks like you've got two fat things on top of each other. You've totally obliterated the cupid's bow on your top lip and it's very obvious too. You look much prettier just normal. Sorry to offend you but sometimes it's just best to be told. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> the chairs really like did it for me like that was it but hey here's two two fat things on top of one another <laughs> and then we have these Lux lip oils I don't know if I've tried these I mean this set's called cactus blossoms and I think I'm gonna take this color right here which looks like one that I'd most gravitate towards there's also clear and then some like deep tones the packaging is really cute it's nude and it's got gold on it and it's called skinny dip so it's kind of like almost a little bit sheer looks like that it's got a bit of pigment but it's not like an opaque product and it's smooth it's not sticky it feels really nourishing I really like the way that feels I don't know if it really goes with this lip pencil but let's just roll with it for now I also have two lip glosses from the sunflower collection I think it is ultra glossy lips so we've got always sunny and sun search they both look stunning so always sunny is more of like a clear peach with tiny little like is that silver silvery peachy shimmers you're barely gonna be able to see that and then the other one's more of a peach sun soaked with like golden shimmer to it which is really pretty so i mean 